chapter 2. The next day, Jesus' mother was a guest at a wedding celebration in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration. The wine supply ran out during the festivities, so Jesus' mother spoke to him about the problem. They have no more wine, she told him. How does that concern you and me? Jesus asked. My time has not yet come. But his mother told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Six stone water pots were standing there. They were used for Jewish ceremonial purposes and held 20 to 30 gallons each. Jesus told the servants, Fill the jars with water. When the jars had been filled to the brim, he said, Dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So they followed his instructions. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. Usually a host serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone is full and doesn't care, he brings out the less expensive wines. But you have kept the best until now. This miraculous sign at Cana in Galilee was Jesus' first display of his glory and his disciples believed in him. After the wedding, he went to Capernaum for a few days with his mother, his brothers, and his disciples. It was time for the annual Passover celebration, and Jesus went to Jerusalem. In the temple area, he saw merchants selling cattle, sheep, and doves for sacrifices, and he saw money changers behind their counters. Jesus made a whip from some ropes and chased them all out of the temple. He drove out the sheep and oxen, scattered the money changers' coins over the floor, and turned over their tables. Then going over to the people who sold doves, he told them, Get these things out of here. Don't turn my father's house into a marketplace. Then his disciples remembered this prophecy from the scriptures. Passion for God's house burns within me. What right do you have to do these things? The Jewish leaders demanded. If you have this authority from God, show us a miraculous sign to prove it. All right, Jesus replied. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. What? they exclaimed. It took forty-six years to build this temple, and you can do it in three days? But by this temple Jesus meant his body. After he was raised from the dead, the disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed both Jesus and the Scriptures. Because of the miraculous signs he did in Jerusalem at the Passover celebration, many people were convinced that he was indeed the Messiah. But Jesus didn't trust them because he knew what people were really like. No one needed to tell him about human nature.